common question we're asked is how to separate your material takeoffs by phase. So I'm going to show you how using this job. So this customer had already done their materials takeoff um, and they'd actually already separated out their materials into all the different classes they needed so they could easily separate their report by you know demo quantities, asphalt quantities, grading, utility work, etc. But at the time of the bid, they put everything in phase one and later found out that a portion of the job, this upper portion, um, was going to be handled in a separate phase two. So they wanted to separate that out. So all they need to do is go up to the utility menu here. You click on utility and you click enter phase region. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add a phase. So I just click add. AgTech automatically will name that in numeric order, so phase two. In, that, in this case, that's right, but you could, of course, type your own phase name in here as well. And then I'm going to hit OK. And the program's going to put me into entry mode, so that all I need to do is simply circle around the area I want to identify as phase two. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to turn my snap off. I don't need to snap to any lines right now. And I'm just going to simply draw in where I want my phase two region to be. So I know that it includes, you know, some of this portion of the sidewalk here. The road cuts over about here. And then I'm just going to include everything in this whole section. I'll turn snap back on to snap that box closed. And then just like everything in AgTech or anytime you enter a region, you right click to finish. I'll right click again to get myself out of entry mode. And the program's gonna ask me if I wanna apply this phase region. So that data was in phase one. Do I wanna transfer it to phase two? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna hit yes. And right away we can see we now have a phase one and a phase two available in our report. So let's just turn off phase one and let's only look at phase two. So you can see over here on the left side, we make it easy to see what's included in phase two by only illuminating the hatch regions and colors for that phase. Plus over here on the left, your report is now separated into only things that fall into phase two. And I can, I can apply that to my material report, you know, separated by structure, the summary, anything I want. I can also easily toggle back on phase one or look at phase one only just by double clicking on it and only phase one will become illuminated. So that's a really simple way to add in uh, phase regions and separate your quantities appropriately. Now, of course, if I had uh, more complicated stuff, multiple phases, I would just add in multiple regions the same way. Let me know if you have any questions.